Hello and welcome to the shop. Today we're going to take a look at the Silverline Digital Multimeter. I actually picked this up uh, today for a mass total of £5.58. I'm not going to say it's going to be much good, but you never know. Uh, it does, does say it does uh, NPN, PMP <coughs> transistors, diode checks, does current voltage and also outputs a 50 hertz signal as well while I was reading and comes with a three year guarantee well I thought uh, this is ideal at the price to just keep in the car but I thought I'll do a little tear down let's see what it's made of and what we'd actually recommend you could use it for Right, let's open the packaging first. Right, you got some leads. Right, let's get the box out of the way. Right, this is what comes in the box. You got a single leaflet set of instructions, uh, shrink wrapped meter, and some leads. Right, let's just have a quick look at the instructions and see what it's quoting. Okay, we have the instructions out. It seems to do DC voltages up to 500 volts, and current up to 5 amps DC, AC voltage up to 500 volts. Can't see any AC current on here at the moment, so maybe it doesn't do that. Uh, resistance up to 2,000 kilo ohms. Uh, it's got a built-in buzzer. Like I said before, NPN and PMP are transistors. Uh, okay, and just a bit about the uh, test voltages it uses. Right, let's uh, have a look at the leads. Right, here's the leads. Uh, is there anything, any writing on it? Let's say max 10 amp Category 2 on this end, absolutely nothing on this end, they are shrouded, uh, the cables do seem a bit thin, uh, I would actually be worried using this on anything over about 30 volts, AC DC, uh, what I actually bought this for, for the car, it will be absolutely perfect, but yeah, I don't think I'll go anywhere near the 500 volts with this. Uh, maybe I'll dig out a mega and we'll see what this uh, insulation is good for. Right, let's have a look at the, the meter. Right, here's the meter. It does feel a bit plasticky. Feels uh, there's not much weight to it, but then it was only. But less than six pound. Let's. I presume the battery. We have to take the cover off. There's no actual. I can't see any battery flaps or anything like that. All right. Okay. There's, there's two screws on the back. All right. Come on. Oh, that didn't sound too good. Right. Here we are. Let's have a look inside. the back cover away. Okay, we've got two fuses. Uh, there's the, the current shunt there. A little buzzer there. Mm. I'm frightened if I take this apart I won't get it back together. 
should be alright. on this side at all very minimal right. very minimal insulation very basic but yeah to be expected uh, have a look at it. to be expected for five pound as I said I wouldn't use this for AC at all but for your car and your home electronics this is probably going to be brilliant okay I'll stop the video I'm going to put it back together let's get a battery and let's compare it okay welcome back I've got it all together I'm going to do some comparisons against me a fluke 233 uh, all I'm going to have in the video is the uh, remote here Right, let's start on the uh, 200 ohm range. Got my Fluke 233 here, which this one's reading 118.4. So we get 118.3. Top marks for that range. Thousand ohms. Right. Right, if we use a uh, that should be one thousand five hundred ish. One thousand four hundred and seventy one. Yep, yeah, that's not that's not too bad in my book. One thousand four hundred and sixty-six. Very good. Twenty K, right. Twenty K. Let's go middle of the range. And we'll uh, As 18k. Oh, that'd do. I was measuring on my fluke at 17.61. So 17.60. It was flicking 61 there. Another well done. 100, 100. Uh, you will notice it's not hasn't got anything fancy things like auto ranges ranging unlike my fluke uh, this is a uh, 147.6 right, I hope you can see me here let's try this one too hard. 146.8. Still not bad at all. notice now with the high resistances I'm only touching one end to try not to affect any of the readings 
So there's 1.2 meg. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Okay, right, let's have a look. Let's do some DC voltage. Uh, I'm only going to use a 18650 battery, which is normal 3.7 volts. So I need to be on the 20 volt range on here. Right, let's do a, a test. My fluke says it's 3.779 volts. Let's see how good you are here. 3.77 volts. Obviously, it hasn't got the other decimal price, so that's very good. Uh, I have no means of testing 200, 500 volts DC at all. Let me just flick this round. This should be continuity. Let's find a diode. It says there's a diode checker. Let's find a diode. Let me pause the video for you. Right, welcome back. Let's do a diode check. Okay. Diode, the actual drop is uh, 0.586 volts. I don't know if this is going to show the same. I guess it's obviously showing in millivolts instead of volts. And yeah, there's a little bit of an little bit of an error there, but nothing to worry about. It, it's doing its job is checking uh, the diode which is good right one I wanted to check the instructions say this gives a f gives a 50 Hertz output right let's see if we can measure this on the fluke Okay, it's giving 49.32 hertz. Well, I'm just trying the HFE. Uh, I have managed to get a reading. It's very... The actual connections in this plug are not very good at all. As you see. This is a very, very dodgy. Uh, Saying that, it is reading the HFE of a transistor, so fair play to it. Uh, I can't remember the last time I actually needed to use that, but this function is here. Okay, right, I'm on AC volts now. I would not recommend using this meter on AC volts, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I've actually got my fluke connected up with 242 volts at the moment, and uh, this this could end up in tears. I must admit. Right, let's just disconnect this. Right, let's make sure. Let's do volts. 500 volts. AC. Uh, I must admit, this is the uh, most I've been worried for quite a while. Right, this is AC measurement, not recommended. Hold on. Try again. I'm having a little bit of trouble actually getting my probes to contact in my safe block. So that one the meter's not working at all. Uh, 
Disconnect from the supply. Let's see if we can get a good contact. Right, this should contact now. Hopefully, it was just a problem with my safe block. Okay, we're measuring AC. It's 240, so it's 4 volts off, so very good. As I said, I would not recommend, or at least with these leads, would not recommend using this on anything above 40, 50 volts AC or, or DC, really. Okay, just for a check, I thought I'll get one of the leads, and we're going to get the old mega on it, and I'm going straight to a thousand volts. Nothing there. See if you touch it, yes. Yeah, I can't see any issues there, but like I said, the lead is very thin. It did pass the uh, mega test, but I wouldn't trust it. Wouldn't trust this lead on mains if you have a look up up against a fluke lead. Uh, apart from this is nice and rubber dies. This is very plasticky. And yeah, I can imagine this will get nicked and uh, it will, probably won't last very long. But overall for the amateur electronic person this is a, a absolutely superb meter and at less than six pound absolutely wonderful bargain uh, this is going to now live in my car so I've always got one to hand but yeah I, d I just can't believe you can pick up pick up this for you know uh, is it five pound fifty eight it's made by Silverline. Uh, they got a website which uh, I can't see. Here, yeah, let's have a look. <coughs> I did see it earlier on when I was flicking through this information. Mm. But at the moment, it's eluding me. There it is. It's Oh dear. Right at the bottom. Uh, www.silverlinetools.com uh, Yeah, for the electronics enthusiast, anyone playing around with anything DC, battery wise, superb little meter for £5. I still can't believe it's so cheap, so uh, I'm going to give it the the thumbs up for what it is. Like I said, I wouldn't use it at all for AC. But that's at your own risk. It did, as you saw, it did actually work. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Right, now for the pros and cons of this little multimeter. Number one, it's cheap, it's less than six pound. Number two, it's very accurate for its money. Number three, it's an ideal meter for beginners and hobbyists on battery circuits. Now the cons. I would not recommend this at all for high voltages. And possibilities of LCD problems. <laughs> 